Hi, this is Mark Shotrock. I'm going to show you how to set up a hotline for your NEC 9100 or SL2100 system. The programming is identical whether you're using SV9100 or an SL2100. A hotline is when an extension goes off the hook, it will ring a set extension or it could ring a virtual extension programmed on multiple phones and ring a bunch of phones at one time. This is handy for phones that might be in an elevator, they might be in the lobby area, maybe you don't have receptions anymore, and someone walks up to the front desk, you can have a note you know, to let us know you're here, raise the handset, and it will. this phone will ring a predetermined, and pre-programmed destination. Again, the destination could be one extension, or it could be a virtual extension programmed on a button on multiple phones. These are the programs that you'll need to know about. We have programmed uh, 20-08, the class of service, and we, uh, initi we will turn on option 9. Now, class of service, if you don't know, is a set of options that are assigned to a class of service number, 1 through 15, that allows this phone to operate in half. So, <clears throat> by default, all phones are class service 1, except for the lowest extension number, which is class service 15. And class service 15 is kind of like the, the receptionist phone, usually, for some options that she might need or he might need. Again, we'll pick a class service, some, something in the middle that's not going to be used, that won't be assigned by accident. Uh, we'll get that class service number, and we'll turn on option 9. That will make the phone a ring down the phone. It won't have any other options really available to it at that point. Program 2006, class of service, assign class of service to the extension number you want to initiate the ring down. So you're going to find the extension number that you want to, to be the one out in the front lobby. When it's off the hook, it will ring the call the pre, uh, pre program destination. Program 2111, hotline assignment, assign the destination of the ring down to be called. So that's what are we going to call when the phone goes off the hook. Program 2101, outgoing calls, uh, system options. Option 9 is the ring down timer. By default, it's 5 seconds. So I like to change mine to, to 1 second. That way, when I go off the hook on that phone, it immediately starts calling the front of the person I want it to call. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. So... I've already programmed this, so I'm going to just go through the options again with you. So program, again, if you don't know how to use the PC Pro or Web Pro, go check out my videos on that that are listed under the NEC. I'm assuming that you already know how to do that. I've already connected to my system. Um, under program 2008, so go to programs 20. 08 class of service for outgoing. I'm going to find a class of service. In this case, I found class of service 4 because I know it's not assigned to anybody else. I don't want to do it to 1. I don't want to do it to 15. I want to do it to option to class of service 4. And this is grid mode, and I can let, see all the different class of services available right here. If I go to form view, this is class of service 1, but if I go to 4, if you look at 1, hotline is not assigned but if you go to four up here and you go to locate it you'll see that option nine is turned on so this is just grid view I mean form view and this is grid view okay the next option is 2006 so to program 2006 is the class of service for the extension in my example I found extension uh, 104 and I may change it to be class service four in day mode, which is option mode one normally. In mode two, I also have it in a program as a class service four. So that way, it's a ring down phone 24 seven. I could make it to where uh, in mode one, it's a normal telephone, but when the receptionist puts the phone in to night mode now it becomes a ring down maybe this, this lobby maybe this organization runs 24 7 or maybe when receptionist isn't there 
they want her, her, the phone to be used to call uh, people. So that's a good thing to remember there. But in my case, I want to make it four all the time. I'm going to apply that. So 24 seven. Uh, now tw program 2111. This is your hotline assignment. This is the, f uh, when this phone, extension 104 that we assigned class service for to be the, the hotline phone, when it goes off the hook, we want to call program, I mean, extension 299. 299, in this case, if you go and look at my programming up here, and we go into 1104, you'll see that I have a virtual extension of 2099. Again, if you don't know anything about virtual extensions or how to make a virtual extension ring, go check out my video on virtual extension and virtual extension ringing. It'll help you out a lot. So we'll go back to uh, 2111. And hotline assignment. So when extension 104 goes off the hook, it's going to ring 299, which is a virtual extension. And that virtual extension is assigned to multiple phones that are kind of the people I want to, to ring when the phone goes off the hook. All right, one more thing 2101. I'll go and call system options. This is where my uh, option to change it to one. By default, it's a five, and I make it a one because I like to go off the hook immediately and uh, ring immediately in the way the person is out of the way. So apply those, upload. Oh, I'm not connected to the system anyways, but that would change it at that point. Again, <clears throat> here's your hotline phone with the class service for hotline. And when it goes off the hook, it will ring one extension, or it can ring multiple extensions using a virtual key on a button. If you have any questions, you can email us at the help desk. That's helpdesk at shotrock.com, S-H-O-T-R-O-K.com.